everyone and welcome back to Crafts by the Bow. Today is a bit of a snowy day here in Cochrane and uh, it's very bleak, very grey looking. So the lighting is not the best. If I turn my hot light on or my um, ceiling light, I'm just getting lots of shadows. So I'm hoping that you're not getting shadows while I'm crafting today and that you can actually see what I'm making. Now, I didn't know what I was going to make this afternoon and I wanted to get my gingham gala paper out and when I opened it there were thousands of these little pieces because <laughs> you know what a paper hoarder I am and I had pieces left over from all different projects you see here I've got some of the um, tailored tag punch pieces I've got strips that I've cut off little tiny pieces and uh, I thought, oh, here's some more. I thought it was time I used some of them up. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know that every now and then I have a purge with all my little pieces of paper and I start and I use them as scraps. And you might have seen, this is one of the books that I got from on stage last year. And inside I put all my ideas and sizes and things. And you might have seen me use like strips on the black and uh, like little squares and things. I do all sorts with the scraps. And today I've decided I'm going to do one of these sort of pieces because I had lots that was cut at three quarters of an inch wide. And three quarters of an inch is just perfect for this. Now, I was too lazy to cut any card, if I'm honest. And so what I did was I looked through my box and I took out all the colours of card that matched the Gingham Gala. And these are all cut to go horizontal cards this way. So I'm making a horizontal card this way. I had a look at the white pieces that I had cut. And these were, uh, I had two of these and they're smaller than I normally use for my scrap card, but I thought, right, that's what I'm gonna use. I cut a piece of black so that they had a nice border. So let me measure those for you. So these, oh, let's see. So these are four and three quarters by three and a half. So this will be three and three quarters Probably by five, let me see. Oh no, these are four by five and a quarter. But it still works. Yeah, it still works. So that's going to be our piece for the inside and for the outside for the strips to go on. This is going to be our matting. And one of these is going to be the back of our card. So sometimes I like to just use stuff up because otherwise I have a big box of all different sizes of card that I'm never going to use. So I'm starting with the small piece. Let me measure that again for you. Four and three quarters by three and a half. And I just chose at random one of the three quarter inch strips. They're all different lengths. So, you know, I'm going to be using odds and ends of pieces. And what I did was I laid one long strip across the card at a jaunty little angle. I don't know what the angle was, I just popped it on like that. And this is what I've got so far. So the piece I put on first was the purple and I'm just layering the other pieces. Sort of, I'll probably do a pattern so it's purple, green, orange, yellow, purple, green, orange, yellow. And so I thought I would just show you how I'm going to do them. It doesn't matter what the length of the strips are, even tiny pieces so like this. I know this is not cut to the right length, but even this, you know, they go in the corner edges like this and work so well. So let's see, I've got purple, so I'm going to need a green. And all I do, I don't cut them first. I just pop the glue on put it onto the card, doesn't matter if it's too long, only matters if it's too short. Okay, so then I just layer it, I leave a tiny little gap, 
and then I leave it and go on to the next piece while that dries. So after green, I need orange. I'm only going to need a, a tiny bit of the orange. I wonder, wonder how much that works out. Oh, that, look, that would be just right if I just do the corner of this orange piece. You can use any paper you want, of course, but because I've got pieces of this and I'm, I'm too too much of a skin flint to throw this away because I love this paper and now I believe it's on back order or um, limited quantities and so I want to use every scrap that I can okay so let's oh, take that off there and I'm going to get my long scissors excuse me I'm get my long scissors and just cut along and then I'm going to turn my piece over and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another piece across here like this and then I might start more layering or I might just carry on going that way. I think I'll just carry on going that way. So a bit more glue. You know we get so much of this beautiful paper and um, I'm terrible. I just I just try and keep it in the cupboard and if I use a piece I think oh I, I need to order another pack of that I use I've used a piece of that paper and I'm not very good at using it up at all so these strips instead of throwing out you know little pieces like this that you would normally throw out why not just make a card back in with it uh, what color would I need yet so I've got the green and the purple I think I'll go, so I need the orange, so a little strip of orange. And it doesn't matter what angle you use, as long as you keep everything sort of level and, uh, you know, going the same way, that's fine. You can, you can add, sometimes what I've done is I've done a couple of pieces of paper and then a piece of ribbon. But if I'm using ribbon, what I tend to do is to cut the paper to the same width as the ribbon so that it doesn't look odd. But, you know, it's just one of those things. You get little pieces left over. But you need to use them. I wonder if I've got a smaller piece of yellow that I can just plop in there. No, these, are all, these are all cut into a different shape. Um, let's have a look. I've got a piece of this, so if I just cut this to three quarters of an inch, that would work. Because I know I only need a tiny piece. So I'll just pop it on here. And cut it to three quarters. on there leave the tiny little gap between them pick it up I know I'll have stuck it to the paper because that happens every time to me Oop. and that's okay because the bit that sticks is not the bit that's on the card back in okay and then I'll get my big scissors again just trim these pieces off And then because I was having such a lazy card making day, I looked to see what I had left in my boxes from having card classes in the past few weeks. And what I had was pieces from the butterfly collection. So that's what's going on here. One of the butterflies. And let's move some of these. But I'll keep these because I'll be making more of these kind of backgrounds. I'm not going to keep these pieces that have got little bits of glue on. And let me just turn this paper over so I haven't got a sticky side. Okay, so let's pop this onto the black. You can either use your fast fuse if you still have some left over or snail. You can use tear and tape. 
I'm just using my Tombow because it happened to be at hand. Pop that onto there. Now this is quite a wide border, wider than I normally have. If you're bothered about the edges and you want them to be really a bit more precise, just pop it through your paper trimmer and cut it on that. Okay. And then from card class last week, I've got some of these pearlized doilies and pieces of card cut with the starburst punch with this one. And this is a little piece of white that's been through the um, natural embosser, the one that does like a linen thread. And let me see, I think that's, yeah, that's the two inch punch. So my other ones I'm going to use, I'm going to put a little piece of tear and tape on the back of this doily. Oh, don't stick it to your card like I just did. See, it's going to be a bit tricky to get the back in off, I think. There we go. And then I'm going to see which way round. I think I'm going to put that over here. And then I'm going to attach the purple. Like this. And then I'm going to put the white on top. I'm not going to do a sentiment for this card. I will just use it as a note card either sort of as a thank you card or just, you know, a hello kind of card. And then I've got some of the little butterflies that I cut out with the butterfly punch. Let's see where that is, here we go. Uh, I cut it out from the botanical butterfly paper. And let's find a dimensional. See, you can tell I haven't really prepared this card at all. It's just winging it as I go along. But why not? Some days you just need to. Okay, so I'm going to put that one on there. And then I also punched from the same paper series, the just the little butterflies. Let's see. And just see, just the little tiny butterflies. I'm going to put one of those on a dimensional. Let's put this one down here. And then, because I've used purple butterflies, I think I'm going to use the purple, the purple card. I do always have lots of card cut and ready. And I think sometimes when you don't quite know what you want to do or what colour you want, it helps if you have some things ready and think, oh yeah, okay, so I can use that colour, I've got this paper and these um, stamps that I've already done, they'll go with it. And I tend to have some cut this way, some cut, you know, the sort of the classic way, if you like. Let me just have a look here. So, yeah, this way, where it's scored down the middle, so the card would go this way. So I have piles of them already cut. And I also have white card pre-cut, ready for insides or for matting. And... You know, it just makes the job a bit quicker. Let's see, do I like this on the purple? Yes, I do. So, I'm going to put another piece of the black inside. And that way, um, I can put a white piece on top and the outside and the inside will match and I'll have somewhere to do my writing. You could stamp on the inside piece if you wanted to, and with a sentiment or something. But as I don't know what the card's going to be for yet, I'm not going to do that. Okay. But I like that because the the inside white size and the, the black matting is going to be exactly the same as the front. It sort of ties it in together. Oops. 
And this is probably one of the quickest cards I've ever made for you. And a card that uses the least amount of things. But, so there we are. Just a quick card to use up some of the scrap pieces of DSP that would otherwise go probably in the bin. And I hope you like that. If you didn't want to have another little butterfly here, you could put a little sentiment on the front. Um, yeah, I quite like that. So thank you very much for watching. If you have other ideas for scraps and things, you know, add them to the um, YouTube video and everybody could maybe have a go at a scrap card one day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everybody.